Today's video is about Austin number one for job seekers. So this is based upon an article that just came out with data from realtor.com organization that shows that Austin is the number one metro area in the United States for job seekers. So hey everybody, I'm Dan Forbes, Forbes Realty here in Cedar Park and Leander, Texas. And if you wanna know everything there is to know about living here, working here, or playing here, you've come to the right place. And before you leave my channel today, please subscribe, hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever new videos are posted. I literally get calls, texts, emails from people that are moving to the Austin area almost every single day. And you know what? I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving anywhere here in the Austin area, especially North Austin and the cities of Cedar Park, Leander, Liberty Hill, Pflugerville, Round Rock, Georgetown, make sure that you give me a call send me a text, send me an email, or heck, I don't care, send me that carrier pigeon. And remember always, I've got your back. So an article just came out today by Culture Map here in Austin that indicated that Austin is the number one metro area in Texas for job seekers right now. So what they did, uh, realtor.com anyway, is the one that published the data on this particular report. And they use LinkedIn as a way to track uh, people who had changed jobs and changed their location from other states to the Austin area. And by using LinkedIn as the measure of that, uh, they, they determined that Austin was the number one metro area that job seekers were moving to and were changing jobs. Now, there are other cities on that list. In fact, the top 10 cities on that list are these. Take a look at it right now on your screen. Austin, number one. Sarasota, Florida, number two. By the way, I moved from Sarasota to uh, Austin a number of years ago. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Asheville, North Carolina. Nashville, Boise, Idaho. Huntsville, Alabama. Denver, Portland, Maine, and Phoenix. So what does that mean for buyers? What does that mean for sellers here in the Austin area? Well, let me say first of all, before I get into that, that the cities and the states that are sending most um, new new uh, new workers to Austin from uh, are the San Francisco Bay Area, Los Angeles, and New York City. So for years now here in Austin, most of the the new growth coming from other states have been coming to Austin from California and from Florida. In fact, Texas A&M University just published a study in which 16% of the new workers coming to Texas came from California. So what's attracting uh, those buyers here to the Austin area? Well, relatively speaking, it is affordable housing, it is the weather, and it is the fact that uh, Texas has no income tax. So for people that are moving from other cities, other metro areas, that the home prices are much, much higher. So you can imagine San Francisco Bay, uh, New York City, other high-priced metro areas, the prices here in Austin, although we in Austin have been living here, we think our prices have gotten very high. Uh, for those people, these prices look pretty attractive, so they continue to move here. What's that going to mean for buyers? Well, we have, a, we have a very low supply of inventory, so it's difficult to be a buyer in our market. Matter of fact, I'm working with a buyer right now this week who's interested in a new home community in which there are five builders in that community. Two out of those five builders that I'm talking to are actually using a bidding war process uh, for the homes that they are releasing. And what that means is they'll give you the price, maybe the price is 550,000, and they ask you to make your bid over the next three or four days on those particular homes that are being offered for sale. And you and other buyers are bidding against each other to win that home. That's just the nature of uh, today's new home market here uh, in the Austin area. Now, not every builder is doing that. Many builders will give you a price. This is the price and we'll sign a contract with you. But there is so much demand here in the Austin area that many builders earlier this year went to a bidding war type of situation has worked very well for them and there are enough buyers out there right now that is still working well for many of the builders so they make more money it's tougher for you as a buyer but i tell you what it pays to have uh local boots on the ground and that's what i am for you so i am a local real estate broker i'm not just an agent i am a broker 
I know the neighborhoods, I know the builders, I know how to get in touch with the right salespeople, I know how to get you on the list so that your name pops up higher than others, and hopefully by having me as your advocate, you're gonna be able to win the home of your dream. So I'm happy to help you if I can. You're competing with a lot of other uh, buyers that are moving to Austin, but don't worry about that. I mean, there are closings every single day here from buyers just like you who wanted to move here found it was very challenging, but yet began working with a knowledgeable broker like myself and are now happily moving into their new homes. So I've been sharing with you how that Austin is the number one metro market in Texas for job seekers. And I'm here for one reason, and that is to make your move to the Austin area exciting, fun, and smooth. But you've got to do one thing. You've got to reach out to me. Give me a call. Send me a text. Send me an email. I don't, heck, I don't care. Send me that carrier pigeon but just reach out. And before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is posted. That would mean the world to me. And right now you're beginning to see some other videos from my channel pop up. So before you leave, if you wanna know all there is to know about living, working, playing here in Cedar Park and Leander, Texas, then you know click around on the videos in my channel and then reach out and always remember, I've got your back.